Now, addressing a news conference in Washington, Mike Pompeo said the unprovoked attacks are a threat to international peace and security. Let's get some analysis. Omid Shokri Kalhasar is a Washington-based energy and security analyst. He's also a visiting research scholar at George Mason University, and he joins us now for more. And now, thank you for joining us here at TRT World. Pompeo, very confident that Iran is behind the attack. But what can the U.S. do now? What can they do next if they prove that Iran is behind these attacks? If Tehran is already under terrible uh, economic sanctions. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I should say that it, uh, at present it is very hard to say that which country or which uh, military group are behind of the attack. It needs more investigation by international organization and uh, after uh, such uh, investigation by uh, organ international organization we can say that uh, which country or which uh, military group is under uh, this at, uh, behind of this attack. At present Iran as you mentioned is under sanction and Iran economy is going down every day and uh, we have uh, many uh, uh, political trip uh, made by uh, politicians from many countries from Iraq from Switzerland from Germany from Japan to, to they try to they, they leader try to be, be mediator between Iran and US but as uh, we see today uh, uh, Shinzo Abe met with Iranian super leader, but uh, his uh, effort to be mediator between uh, uh, Iran and U.S. was failed. And at present, uh, we have no problem in uh, world oil market. Uh, after the, today's attack, oil price uh, increased by 4 percent. But as, as we have oversupply in the oil market, I think in the, few, in the new coming days, the price uh, goes down. And uh, we, have see, see, uh, we, have, we can see such major uh, change in oil price. Mm -hmm. And tell us more about the area where this incident took place. This is one of the world's busiest oil routes. Uh, could you please repeat your question again? Uh, tell us more about the area where the incident took place. This is one of the world's busiest oil routes. Uh, uh, I have to say that the security uh, in the uh, region which oil, oil major oil process is located in uh, is the uh, power of uh, major oil uh, importer from the region such as uh, China, India, and Japan. Any insecurity in the countries or in the region which uh, produce oil uh, or in the uh, routes such as the Strait of or Hormuz, it uh, is against this, this country's national security and economic growth and also energy security. And according, after today's attack to uh, oil tankers, uh, the countries uh, feel a very a bad uh, situation uh, because this, uh, if such activities continues in coming days or coming weeks and the, uh, this country's economic growth and economic, uh, energy security and national security will treat in majority and their economic uh, will be faced major crisis if these uh, attacks continue in coming weeks or coming months. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks so much for that. Omid Shokri Kalhasar, Washington-based energy and security analyst.